Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a battery charger circuit with charging current up to 20 ampere. The circuit has the functions of overload protection, output short circuit protection, reverse polarity protection automatic disconnection when the battery is full. I'm sure you'll like it. This is the finished product. All neatly arranged in an old computer power box. I have installed the control circuit here. On the radiator there is a diode bridge and a thyristor. The 12V fan provides wind to cool the transformer and other components. The output charging current is regulated through this potentiometer. The output current can be adjusted through the potentiometer. This is suitable for all capacity batteries ranging from 3.5 ampere hours to 200 ampere hours. The circuit has an output short circuit protection function. Reverse battery polarity. When the reverse polarity is plugged in, the error light will light up. When the battery is full, the full status light will be on. The circuit will automatically cut off the charging source for the battery. I will show you how to do it in detail after the sponsor's advertisement. These are custom 3D printed enclosures from a $1 service from JLCPCB. By 3D printing, your enclosure with JLCPCB, you can create a finished product experience for your hardware. Price as low as 7 cents per G. Step 1, upload your 3D files. Upload your CAD file online and select materials to get an instant quote, price starts from $1. Step 2, 3D printing it. Our industrial 3D printers and professional operators will produce your prototypes and end-use parts with the highest quality. Step 3, delivery straight to you. JLCPCB 3D printing service covers a worldwide delivery, we will ship parts to your doors directly from our 3D printing factory. Here is the schematic diagram of the circuit. Thanks to Aka Kazian for sharing this circuit. You can visit the author's YouTube channel in the description for more details. Basically, the AC voltage from the transformer is rectified through the diode bridge, then the charging current is adjusted by the thyristor before charging the battery. This is a transformer with an output of 18 volts, the current is about 15 amps. I picked it up from the scrap pile a few years ago. The voltage after rectification through the bridge diode reaches 20 volts. To ensure that the circuit works stably and durable. I have mounted the bridge diode and thyristor onto a piece of aluminum heatsink. All cooled by the wind from the fan. The circuit uses common components. The 2 watt resistors are used to reduce the voltage from the transformer to 12 volts to supply power to the control circuit. The circuit uses only two types of transistors, BD139 and BD140. The 5 kilo ohm potentiometer is used to regulate the auto cutoff voltage of the circuit. The 10 kilo ohms potentiometer is used to regulate the charging current for the battery. I will give the circuit a voltage of 14.7 volts, which is the voltage when battery 12 is full. Then I will slowly adjust the 5 kilo ohm potentiometer until the light comes on. That's the end of the circuit tuning process. The circuit has two modes, 
automatic and manual. In automatic mode, the protection functions will be active. In manual mode, the power is cut off only when the battery is full. This is manual mode. Take care not to touch the output circuit because the protection mode has been disabled. Two transistors BD139, BD140, and capacitor C2 create an open angle adjustment circuit of the thyristor to adjust the output current. Adjustment frequency depends on capacitor capacity C2. Two transistors BD140 with 5 kilo ohm resistor used to regulate the output interrupt voltage. When the voltage of the battery reaches the set threshold, the output voltage will be cut off, the battery will not be charged further. I showed you how to make a 20 ampere battery circuit, wish you success. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.